scholars, this is Miss C. And guess what time it is? It's reading time. We are going to read an engagement text and a decodable. Materials. So go ahead and put your thinking caps on. Ready? We have three new learning targets for our lesson. Please follow along with me as I read them. Our first learning target says, using evidence from the text, I can answer questions about the text dino size. The second learning target says, I can read the high frequency words, animal, between, favorite, heard, let's, and that. The last learning target says, I can read the decodable text, animals big and small. Transition song. Gather around together, together, together. It's time to hear a story, a story, a story. It's time to hear a story and say what you've learned. Read aloud. Listen carefully as I read the text, Dino Size. I'm going to ask you questions at the end, so make sure that you are focused. Ready? Some dinosaurs were giants, the largest animals that ever lived on land. But some were the size of animals we see today, and some were even smaller than you. Plant-eating triceratops was shorter than Tyrannosaurus rex, but probably weighed more. Some scientists think it was nearly twice as heavy as T. rex. Tyrannosaurus rex weighed as much as four giraffes. One of the biggest meat eaters, it leaned forward when it walked. When it stood up, it was taller than a giraffe. The biggest dinosaurs were plant eaters who had long necks and walked on four legs. Barosaurus was longer than two big school buses. Corythosaurus could walk on two legs or four. When it stood up, it was about as tall as a giraffe. Compsognathus was one of the smallest dinosaurs. It weighed about as much as a big chicken. Giraffes are the tallest animals walking on earth today. They're almost as tall as a two-story house. A five-year-old kid could lie down in a T-Rex's mouth and have room to spare. Question and answer. Now it is time to talk about what you just heard. My first question is, the text starts by saying, plant-eating triceratops was shorter than T-Rex, but probably weighed more. Some scientists think it was nearly twice as heavy as a T-Rex. What does the word nearly mean? Nearly means almost. Here's the next question. The text says that the giraffe is almost as tall as a two-story house. What does two-story mean? Two-story means two floors or two levels. The next question says, in the text, it says that a five-year-old kid could lie down in a T-Rex's mouth and have room to spare. What does have room to spare mean? Having room to spare means having extra room or space. The T-Rex could still fit more in its mouth. Word work. Let's play snap or trap. Remember, we put words that play fair or follow rules that we know in the snap column. And words that do not play fair or are not spelled as we would expect in the trap column. Here we go. Favorite. In this word, we hear two syllables, but the spelling looks like three syllables. 
with an O in the middle that we don't really hear. That's tricky. So favorite goes in the trap column. Our next word is animal. The first syllable of this word, an, sounds like we'd expect as a closed syllable. The second syllable is another closed syllable, m. The last syllable, l, is a bit tricky because it has a sneaky swa, but we can handle that. So animal goes in the snap column. Our next word is between. I see an open syllable, B, at the beginning of this word. Then we have a vowel team, E-E, -E, that sounds just like we would expect. With a long E, between is a snap word. Our next word is heard. This word has a vowel team, E-A, that we learn sounds like a long E. But in this word, we hear er. That's tricky. So the word heard goes in the trap column. The next word is let's. Let's is a contraction for let us. We see and hear all the sounds that we would expect. So this is a snap word. Here's our last word, that. This is another contraction, and it's short for that is. Again, all the sounds that we expect are spelled the way that we'd expect it. We'll put that's in the snap column. Fluency. Now we'll read our decodable reader, Animals big and small. I want you to jump up every time you hear one of these high frequency words. Animal, between, favorite, heard, let's, that. Watch for the blue underlines to help you know when to jump. Good luck and here we go. There are numerous animals living on the earth. So numerous, it would be ridiculous to try to count them all. I hope that you jump for all of the high frequency words you've seen on this page. Some of the animals are very small. Some are enormous and some are sort of in between. Let's learn about some of the smallest and the largest of each. Starting from the top, I have animals, between and let's. A blue whale is the biggest animal on earth. It's monstrous. It can be as heavy as 180 tons. That's bigger than a bus. And a blue whale's heart can be as heavy as a car. Starting from the top, we see the high frequency words animal and that. One of the smallest animals is the gold frog. Are you curious how small it is? A gold frog is not even a centimeter long. That's about the size as a fingernail. Starting from the top, we have the high frequency words, animals, and that. The next enormous animal can be found in Africa and at the circus. Did you guess it? Right, the fabulous African elephant. Elephants can stand as tall as 13 feet. That's taller than a basketball hoop. We had one high frequency word, that. Have you ever heard of a slender blind snake? These reptiles are very skinny and only about 11 centimeters long and have very tiny eyes. They look and act more like a worm than a snake. They are not poisonous or dangerous. We had one high frequency word, heard. Have you ever heard of a tremendous bird called an ostrich? The ostrich is the biggest bird on earth. This bird is also famous for being very fast. An ostrich's wings 
help it to run even faster, but they do not help it fly. You learned about some of the biggest animals and some of the smallest. The earth is also full of many other animals in between. Like the fabulous octopus or the whiskery walrus, what is your favorite animal? Starting from the top, we have the high frequency words between and favorite. Closing reflection. Which high frequency words were not tricky for you to read? Which were tricky for you to read? You did a great job reading today. Don't forget to read for at least 20 minutes every single day. And make sure that you are practicing reading with fluency. Keep up the great work and I can't wait to see you next time.